classic road trip shot, mountains, gas station. Hello everybody, welcome to day 11, I think, of that day 3 of trip. Day 3 of trip, yes. Uh, day 2 of traveling. Uh, we drove about 4 hours to get here to Asoyas, we're going to drive about 4 hours again, this time even further to Creston. Got a gig tonight. Um, I've never driven this drive when it wasn't like 10 degrees below. I played this place in Creston one time drove there with my dad and it was the first snow of the year and it was a complete disaster uh, i'll put it this way they make a tv show here in bc called highway through hell about how bad this highway gets so we're gonna try real hard to survive it's summer we'll be fine do you like my vote of confidence and how well this drive's gonna go yeah super it's great anyway um yep uh for once we actually have time to kill this time so if we see anything cool we'll stop and have a nice time well, I've made it five minutes down the road to this. You scale up the mountain, I get an amazing view of the entire city of Asoyuz and pretty much the entirety of Lake Asoyuz. This side in Canada, this side in the United States, Eastern Washington. I like how this sign says private property as if the fact that it's also a cliff face isn't enough reason to not cross that. Right? Like, this, um, bro. Isn't this amazing, baby? This is the cutest town in the world. Look, it's such an old town, it still has a Sears sign. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, this is an adorable little own old town called Greenwood. Look at this minecart, dude. Yeah, I'm going to show you a couple of things in town because I just think it's so pretty. I am just so happy every time I drive through this town. Flag at half-mast for the queen. She was, of course, the queen of Canada as well. And I am just not getting used to this whole... King Charles the third thing, but that is neither here nor there. I'm gonna guess this building might have a dark history based on the fact that this is calling it internment building number 10, built in 1897. Wow, very cool. Yeah, during the internment years of the Second World War, the Fraser E block became building number 10. Basement was a bathhouse. Really dark history in Canada and specifically BC involving and I know it was a big deal in, in America as well, involving the imprisonment of Japanese Canadians because we basically decided that all Japanese people were spies, which is one of the most horrific things we've ever done. And believe me, I know Canada gets painted pretty rosy, but we've done a lot of horrific things over the years. Anyway, that's not what this video is about. Look at this little bell out front of, uh, I don't even know what this is, City Hall, I guess. Uh, MC Shane Bell Foundry, Baltimore, Maryland, 1899. Very cool. This was the uh, Greenwood substation for the West Kootenai Power and Light Co. in the first decade of the 20th century. It was built about 1905 and 1906, and I thought that these windowsills were just cute little, uh, like, displays almost for lights. I thought it was like a company that sold lights. No, it was an electrical substation. These little birdhouse things are actually to shield these insulators from the elements. That's very cool and it creates a very distinctive landmark for people going down the highway here anyway it's time to move on down the road a little bit i am concerned that i may accidentally make a really long vlog because i keep finding cool things look at this rail tunnel labeled 1913 covered in a ton of graffiti just outside of greenwood the greenwood road tunnel it says where we are standing was the site of the 1899 trussell and truss bridge it's pictured right here and that uh, it was replaced by this in 1913 absolutely crazy oh this is a picture from 1913 look at these cars going through this tunnel amazing uh, it says that uh, it was replaced in 1964 hasn't been used since oh here's a picture in 1967 of the rail line bypassing this tunnel so that train would be Coming right at us right there. Uh, in 2000, as a millennium project for the city, over 210 flags from all over the world were painted on the outside of the tunnel. Uh, I'll take a look at that. They are very faded. Most of them covered up now. Ooh, there's so many grasshoppers in here. Uh, most of them covered up. Now you can still see vague remnants of that. But yeah, those flags, a little over two decades after they were put here, 
are hardly visible anymore, but still sort of there. And the whole structure, as you can tell, kind of over time crumbling away. But just amazing. Driving up to this thing, you knew I had to film it. It is very neat. As you can tell, people have graffitied all over the inside of this thing. Great place for it. And someone's using it as a skateboard ramp. Again, good place for it. Driving through Grand Forks now. I think this bridge is pretty cute. Ooh, built in 1957. We stop here in town to eat some salads, but uh, there were too many wasps. You know, it won uh, wasps uh, come into contact with Tamara, she has a tendency to die, so we decided to go inside. <laughs> Not right away. Yeah. It takes like a minute. When did your EpiPen arrive at your house? 30 minutes after we left. Yeah. So we drove a while down the road and we wound up in Nelson by uh, the Royal where I actually played one time uh, in 2019. And they're doing a pretty kick-ass car show here. Lots of retro stuff. Very, very cool. Look at this Mercury from 1950. So I think of all of them, this one might be my favorite. This 1927 Ford Model T Coupe, which was given some modifications, but apparently before 1949. So it was someone's hot rod back in the 40s. And it's been given some of these World War II era imagery. Take a look at this. This is a Hercules engine from 1899. Didn't think I'd see any 19th century machinery here, but oh my goodness. This town is so cute. I always like driving through Nelson. It's got such a cute little old town, but we're back on the road now. About an hour and a half from our last destination of the day, Creston. Where I'm then gonna get set to play a gig. So I've made it into town here in Creston. There's some nice green elevators back there. And I was extremely excited when I drove into the main drag in town. It looks like the town has like a billboard set up here. Would you look at this? That counts as my name in lights. Hell yeah. All right, and I'm all set up here in the pub, about to get started. The last time I played here was November of 2018, so it's been a while. This was one of my first touring gigs ever. It's actually kind of a funny story. Uh, the place is called Jimmy's Pub, and uh, when I first decided I was going to start booking some touring gigs for myself, I um, found this place called Jimmy's Pub in Agassiz, which is about an hour away from where I live. Turns out I had emailed the wrong Jimmy's Pub, and it was actually in Creston, eight hours away from where I live. But they gave me a good enough deal on playing that I just said, sure, I'll do it. And I drove all the way here, and it was one of my first experiences with touring. Booked myself one other gig on the way and had a lot of fun. And um, it's been a long time coming, but I'm so glad to be back, uh, reliving a lot of memories from that time. Uh, like I said earlier, that was the trip with the snowstorm. Luckily, no such thing today. About to get started here. Should have some fun. So here's a song that I wrote. I wrote it after a friend of mine. He was, he was having this conversation with me all about how he was into some girl. It's the age-old story. He was into some girl. She was dating another guy and he was listed me all the reasons why he felt like he'd be better for her than this other guy. And I was trying to be a supportive friend, but secretly I was also writing down some uh, lyrics to a possible song. And this is what I came up with. It's called If You Were Mine. Waiting, stand there at the altar 
talk about all the shadow going on in your head. Will you tell him what's been on your mind, or will you wake up instead? Quiet distraction in time. Would it really be a crime if we started to make up our minds? And you can tell all the others your are passion and love. Who's been living in between the lines? But you wouldn't have to run to another dark.